Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lucas Dentis here. Today we're going to talk about Go High Level Pipelines. With pipelines, you can streamline your process in your agency, in your business, and it's going to be a lot easier for you to manage going forward, especially that you're using Go High Level now. And to start with, what is a pipeline? A pipeline is a visual representation of your sales cycle, and each stage of a pipeline needs to represent that someone is moving closer from either becoming a client or making a purchase with you. So I have an example here on my screen. This is an example from a store I manage. This store, I sell jerseys and I have created a pipeline so I can keep track of my sales. So first of all, I have a stage that symbolizes someone showing interest on the product. Then I have a few automations that will send SMS messages and emails talking about the product, showing videos. And then when they purchase, they go to the second stage. The second stage is when I know they have already made a purchase. And then I have to move them to distributor payment because I need to pay my distributor so they can ship the jersey. So after I pay, I moved into waiting for shipping. And then when I have the confirmation that my dispatcher has shipped the jersey, I then move to ship. And here you can see I have 202 leads here. And I'm just waiting for the confirmation of, of the delivery so I can move to deliver. And then my sales cycle is done here. So this example showed you that every time someone moves from left to right, they are closer, in this case, to getting their jersey. And in my case, this is important because if someone does not get the jersey, I still need to refund them or I need to find a resolution for the problem. So that's why I the last stage of mine is delivered because after it has been delivered, they're going to get a message asking for a review on the website. But the sales cycle here is done. I don't have to do anything other than that. The other example I have here is a restaurant. This is a restaurant that we're running a free appetizer funnel. So here we have new leads, people who have claimed the appetizer, and then the people who request the reservation, people who already filled the, the form for the free appetizer, and then they made the reservation. They go into the second stage. When they confirm the reservation they go to the third stage and then 15 hours after the reservation well in this case we confirm if they will go to the reservation if they cancel we remove from this pipeline if they actually go to the restaurant then we move them to done and then they are customer they are in our loyalty program and they will start getting messages from you from happy hours events beer tasting any type of event that a restaurant can offer we will be sending emails sms to guide people to come back to a restaurant to the business and the last example in the last example i have right here is our agency so every time that someone fills out a form every time that we meet someone that we give our business card that we get their information they become a code lead. and then we have a stage that says not interested follow up appointment set no shows not ready follow up make proposals send proposal and it goes all the way here where we have retainer clients this is a more complex pipeline but still uh, when people go to all the way to the right we have retainer clients so that means that they have done business with us and right now let's build our own pipeline so i show you how you can do this so you go to the sub account that you, that you want to use you go settings and then you go to pipelines in here on pipelines you can create as many as you want but the one thing you need to keep in mind is that one contact can only be in one pipeline at a time so if you have multiple pipelines and you want someone to be able to be in different ones you won't be able to do it you have to do it in a way that after someone leaves a pipeline and goes to the other they still are connected you know so for example you have one just for acquisition and then you have one for the your internal process so you have one for acquisition new lead contacted maybe assigned to broker okay and then you have an internal process, which means that, oh, we're going to negotiate, we're going to send this, we're going to do a follow up, and then we're going to send a contract and then finalize the contract. So if your process is complex as that, you want to create multiple pipelines to make sure that each part of your process is covered on each one of those pipelines. So let's start one, a simple one. I'm going to create just like a simple lead pipeline, and then we're going to call it new lead, then contacted, and then appointment. Then we can do here a contract and then D&D &D here which means that these are lost so we're gonna save here and then we're gonna go back we're gonna go to opportunities in here we can see this simple lead pipeline that we have all the stages that we have just created and the other thing that you need to take advantage is the automation because you've seen here that on the sales pipeline you can easily drag and drop here there are a lot of ways for you to manage this you can easily drag and drop but also using automations you can do a lot more so for example example maybe on your process you need to collect some information and let's say that you are on the phone with them and then after you have collected this information after you have fill out a field you
you want to move them straight to another stage on the pipeline. And you can do that. So contact changed, for example, you can come here and then let's say it's a tag that you're using to symbolize that. So we're going to create a tag. And this is just an example, guys. Let's say this one will be contacted. So you can save the trigger and then you can move this person from one pipeline, from one stage of the pipeline to the other. Simple lead pipeline. Simple lead pipeline. And then you're going to choose the stage, new lead, opportunity name here. You can always use one tip that I give you here is to use the name of the person and maybe the name of the company so you can easily identify when you see it on the on your opportunities and you can also do a lead source what i usually do here i do the attribution and then first utm source this helps a lot with the attribution report and then you can save this well if the opportunity is not created yet it will create a new opportunity but if the opportunity already exists it has the same name don't forget about that you will move this opportunity from one stage to whatever stage you select here you could have several automations that based on tag adding a tag or updating a field it will move the contact from one stage of the pipeline to the other and you can also enable a lot of other automations when someone moves from one stage to the other you can send out an email saying oh congratulations from for whatever you know if it represents that they are maybe a booking an appointment you can send out appointment reminders you can send out uh, maybe a video that you explain further about your business or the service that you're offering, the course, whatever you are offering in this case. But anyway, I hope this video can clarify a few things about Go High Level Pipelines and hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click on the like, please subscribe to this channel and see you on the next one.